All right, so we are back, and today is Wednesday, 6th of July, 2022. As I told you earlier, our guest is already seated, Honorable Abraham uh, Juma Odum, former member of parliament for uh, Chufu Etimokwa. And then he's also, uh, I mean, he's called and known all over the world as Rice Revolutionaries. He's here in the studio. Uh, Honorable, uh, it's good to see you. Uh, welcome. Good morning. Morning. Uh, sorry for going through some, some stress. We had to hurry up and come. Traffic in the city, we had to manage terrible, it. So, terrible, yeah, terrible. Good morning terrible. for coming. We good thank morning. you so much for being around. Well done. Good. So now we're looking at quickly the uh, organic fertilizer as an answer to food insecurity. Yeah. You are an industrial agriculturalist. Yeah. With what is happening now, Everything is being blamed on Russia, <laughs> Ukraine, Russia, Ukraine. The agricultural sector, what has happened to it? Oh, let me say good morning to your viewers. And uh, I'm sorry we had to start late. Yeah. It's all because of traffic. Mm. I started the journey about two, and two hours ago. So you can imagine the stress. Anyway, let's come home. Uh, normally, I have a saying that I'm convinced about it, that uh, when there's a problem, I see it as a challenge. Okay. And if there's a challenge, it offers an opportunity. Challenges are all leading with opportunities. So whatever is happening in Ukraine, and Russia, yeah. I want to take you through that process. Okay. For far too long, some of us have thought that the way to go is not inorganic mm. fertilizer, nor the pesticides that we are using. That the way to go is organic. And to do that, you, want, you have to structure a system whereby the waste of our chicken, small ruminants, and even aqua fishery can be used to enhance the fertility of the soil. So for me... Yeah, once we speak, I'm sure production will show us just an excerpt of what... Uh, yeah, I'm so sure. for me... Mm -hmm. This thing that is happening now, I think it's about time that we rethink. I said it yesterday at TV Africa. You see, the good Lord had to make a confession mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 11. Mm -hmm. The people are one. Okay, so you, you yeah, can yeah. So this is what I've started, and I'll come to it. Mm -hmm. I had a meeting at uh, Bekwa with the Church of Pentecost, okay. Apostle Tiakwe's group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a young man came and then informed me about what they have on their poultry farm. Okay. So now currently I've started off taking this to farms so that they can use it. So let me come back to the point I was making. All right. Okay, so we'll come back to Yeah, we will come to you and I'll explain. God said that the people are one. They have one language. So whatever they are imagining, they can do it. And therefore, for God to disabuse our mind from that, he has to create different languages. So I'm talking about the power of imagination. If you go to Dubai now, and you compare it to Dubai of 50 years ago, then you come to appreciate I think I sent you that video, yeah. that statement by the Prince of uh, Emirates. Okay. To the extent that... Yeah. No, you know what? Let me go quickly for a program that has been sponsored, Blessing the Land, right. five minutes, and then we can come back. Right. Our uh, Apostle Faraway Sola is blessing us this morning. It is always brought to you by uh, the perfume shop. We are inside Takwa. Daddy, if you are ready, and if you can hear me, praise the Lord, and quickly you bless us before we continue. Yeah. Let's, let's okay. The prince said that mm. 50 years ago, 
they imagined and designed and executed and they have created what we all want to go there as Dubai. Look at the process. Imagine, mm. design, execute, and you create. So when man was imagining building the Tower of Babel, designing it, God knew they could create it. And that is why God caused the confusion. So for me now, we need to imagine the kind of agriculture that we want to build, that we want to have. And that we need to put in a design. And as we put in a design, then we can execute. When I went to Nigeria, I imagined something that Nigeria will have to come out of rice importation. We design the structures. And that is where the other time I was telling you about the reorganization of the value chain players mm. and then the reorientation mm. where I took you through Romans 12. That you see, you need renew to have a renew, mind. Yes, renew mind. But let me, let me just give, because you've mentioned rice. See, as of 2020, we imported $391 million of yes. rice. Put together 2017 to 2018, over $1 billion. Yeah. And if at that time, with a foreign exchange, over six point something billion dollars, yeah. we are still bringing them in. And now we have issues. I am question to you was that there was this planting for food and jobs program that was actually initiated by this government. What has happened to it? What has happened is that we, ha we imagine it, but we haven't done the designing very well. I tell you why. This competitive African rice initiative mm. that I did in Nigeria, yeah. we did it also in Ghana and Burkina and Tanzania. Tanzania and Nigeria have gotten it. So why is it that Ghana, we are not getting you it? I should be asking you. Yeah, so because I keep on saying, Ghana, the design, we are using what they call the grip. And it's not working. It's not working. So the design stage is what have caused Ghana not having it. Because Kufo Foundation is based in Ghana. And I happen to go to Nigeria to offer service as a policy advisor over there. And I got my design right. Whilst in your own country. Because I was not responsible for Ghana. I was responsible for Nigeria. And I, came, I come back and I keep on telling us. I'm, I'm, I remember we've had a meeting with the Minister of Agri in it, Bank of Ghana in it, the financial institutions in it, some stakeholders were there. And I told them that for us to get it right, we have to use the Nigeria model. The Nigeria model was, I got the input dealers organized, the farmers organized, the millers organized. And then we sat down with all the other relevant stakeholders, central bank, the financial institutions, insurance, customs, police, immigration, truck owners, and even the importers of rice and consumers. We sat down and then we look at it. What is it that we are exporting labor outside? This six billion that you are talking about is money that would have been distributed among Ghanaians that is being sent outside to Vietnam. And for me, the pain of it is when I had opportunity to be there, the land that they have to produce the rice is not even the half, not half the size like of it. it's not even the half the size of central region. In Vietnam. Yes. The land. And yet they are producing so much. Yes. Maybe they are, they, they are, they are relying on organic fertilizer. No, maybe they, they have the imagination right. And they have the design right. And they have the execution going. And that is why they are creating. Okay. No, so back to the issue. So the back to the issue. issue. Now, the, and the, the issue I'm asking is this. Mm -hmm. Now they are saying Ukraine, because of Ukraine, we are not getting mm -hmm. organic fertilizer. Yes. You are saying inorganic is the answer. How? How do you get it? Ghana, if you agree with me, currently our 
menu is chicken and rice. Okay. And then maybe some banku, banku, so maize, and then some beans. Mm. So we need to build, we have to imagine, I have imagined it, and we are starting with national service, and of course the Church of Pentecost also, okay. because we, we're having some so discussion. We'll come to that yeah, right. Yeah. So we have to build a value chain around this, where the waste of the chicken, okay. like you showed. Let me quickly go to that one and come back. Okay. So Blessing the Land is sponsored by uh, the perfume shop, Pastor David Amankwa. Our solar area head is on the line to bless us. Hello, Pastor. Praise the Lord and welcome. Hello, Papa. Can you hear me? Or can you lay on mute and let's listen to the blessing? Yes, please. I can hear you. All right. Kindly bless us, please. All right. Thank you very much, JB. I want to bless God for the opportunity to bless our land. Thank God for the gift of life that he has given to all of us. I humbly want to read from 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1, and verse 16 and 17. 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1, and 16 and 17. But Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow about this time, a seed of fine flour shall be sold for a second and two seeds of barley for Ezekiel at the gate of Samaria. This happened when the Israelites were in economic crisis. There was farming for seven bad years to the extent that parents decided to kill their own children and eat them. This is very serious. When the king heard about it, he tore on his clothes and said, unless the Lord help you, women, I cannot help you. And I believe that unless the Lord helps our nation, Ghana, we can't do anything because we are at, at our wit's end. Unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers will build, but in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen will watch, but in vain. It is vain to rise early in the morning and come in late to eat the bread of affliction. But we believe that with the Lord on the throne, Ghana will prosper. Our Father in heaven, want to thank you and bless you so much for our beloved nation, Ghana. Thank you for what you've done for us. Thank you for how far you brought us. Thank you for the peace we are enjoying. Even in the economic crisis, we still experience your presence. And so we give you praise and bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are committing the president, the vice president, the finance minister, especially who are meeting the delegates from the IMF for this negotiation into your hands. We are praying that, Father, you grant them divine favor, grant them your wisdom, grant them your insight and the ability to negotiate well for the betterment of our nation, Ghana, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are asking that at the end of it all, our economy will grow, our economy will stabilize, our economy will prosper to the glory of your name, in the name of Jesus. We know for sure that in this negotiation, you will intervene. In this negotiation, you will be with the economic management team in the name of the Lord Jesus, we know for sure that at the end of it all, Ghana will come out of this crisis to the glory of your name. Once again, we pray for the peace of our land. In this crisis, without peace, then the economy will worsen, but continue to grant us the needed peace in the name of Jesus. Above all, we pray for righteousness of, for our land. Oh, Lord God Almighty, righteousness exalt a nation, but sin is a reproach. If my people who are called by my name will pray and humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, that I, God, will hear them from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. We are praying that, Father, forgive all our sins and heal our land. We ask that the various stakeholders who are managing our economy, you grant them 
your favor and your wisdom to do it and do it well. And he said, once again, we said that unless you build the house, the libraries, we will build the money in vain unless you watch over our nation, Ghana. Oh, Lord, the watchmen will do it, but in vain. Bless our homeland, Ghana, and make it great and strong. We commit perfume shop into your hands and use them as point of contact for all the businesses in our nation, Ghana. Bless them, empower them, and cause all things to work together for our good. We want to thank you and bless you for how far you have brought our nation, Ghana. For there is hope for our future. In Jesus' mighty name, have I blessed our beloved nation, Ghana. Amen. 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 Thank you, Papa. God bless you so much. That was our Most welcome, area head, uh, Pastor David Amankwa, all the way from the northern region, uh, Solar to be precise. He's our area head. God bless you so much. So that's it. You head your area yeah. head. Now back to the issues. And so, so, so let me quickly, do a quick one tap on, on his prayer. Yeah. You see, like he said, God wants to do something in Ghana. Mm. But he has to do it through human beings. Okay. This prayer, uh, this scripture that he read, we saw how God did it yes. through human beings. Right. Disabled people, even. Mm. Is that not it? Mm. Thereafter, I mean, if you go yeah. forward, you yeah. read forward, yeah. lepers went and brought that prosperity. In the time of Pharaoh, when the whole world was going to go into famine, he used a Joseph to save the whole world. Ghana, can it not be that Odum is an answer of a Joseph for you? But I want to understand. Interestingly, you belong, I don't want to sound too partisan, but you belong to. No, I don't want to talk as, let us on, talk on about that. Okay. So, so I, that's what I want to say yeah, is that yeah. in 2001, mm. when I became a DC, and cocoa production had gone down. And in some communities, they were cutting down their cocoa trees to plant cassava and maize. God used me to bring what we call cocoa high tech. I think I've told you this. Told me this story. God used me. So if Ghana is experiencing this cocoa boom now, God used me to do it. Well, maybe Ghana they didn't recognize it well. Then he sent me into oblivion, to, to Nigeria. Nigeria. And then I go there in Nigeria, the chaotic economic situation, chaotic agriculture situation. God used me to structure a model, <coughs> a design, mm. executed, and now Nigeria is out of importation of rice. rice. So what else? Do we have to pray for again? So, so here now. <laughs> so here now. Yes. In Ghana. So Ukraine, nobody knows when it, I mean, the, 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 the struggle is going to end. So fertilizers are not coming. Yeah. We must also grow food. Yes. Our land has issues. Yes. You are saying organic. Organic. Is the way out. Yes. I went to Bekwai. Uh, myself, Adatete, we joined Apostle Tiako. And over there, we started talking about Pentecost coming into agriculture, helping our members so that we can bring them up so far as prosperity is concerned. Because it is not, I claim it, that will give you prosperity. No, no. You have to work, you work for, to, it. For, for it. There, a gentleman from MJ uh, Asabri Farms, okay. Mansu uh, Ekropon, took my number. And then later on, we connected. As I'm talking now, we are picking their droppings. Okay, so production, that's, that's the image, if you can show it. Yes. Yeah, so once you speak to it, yeah. So we are listening. You are we, picking the droplets? The, the droppings. Okay. From the farm. From the yes. poultry farm. Yeah. Yes. You see, they, they operate a cage, battery cage system. Mm. So mm. their droppings are is liquid okay. in nature. Okay. And then... They store it in that big container. That's uh, this big one. Uh, so now, this is our truck there. And we are pumping the droppings into, into the white container. And when it's full, where, where do you say? Then it? we take it to the farms. Okay. And fortunately, 
There's a man in, uh, in Sawum, uh, Spencer, okay. who has what we call the microbiome enzymes. Mm, 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 you mm. put them into this and it speed up the decomposition. Okay. So instead of say three months, oh yeah, this one is the birth of competitive African rice initiative. Okay. So that's, Where, the, that's the team. Yeah, yes. I can see President Kufo. Yes. And you are in the white. Yes. Smoke, when right? I got the idea about rice and cocoa okay. transformation, yeah. then I wrote that this thing. Then we went to Washington and then Michigan State University and then Cat Hunger and Poverty Foundation okay. bought into the idea and then they brought it up for Bill and Melinda Gate to partner. To sponsor. Yes. Okay. Uh, the project. All right. All right. So when they came and we were doing the uh, uh, contract with President Kuhl, we have to take that this is one. what. Okay. Yeah. So if what I was saying, come back. Good, yeah. So now it's like um, we pick the droppings, mm -hmm. add uh, Mr. Spencer's microbiomes and the enzymes. For the picker uh, decomposition. It, yes, decomposition. Okay. So that in about a week or two, yeah. that dropping is ready to give and leak out all the ingredients that the plants have. Well, we need. We need. Recently, we've heard about Zoom Lion and others trying to put up uh, fantastic uh, plants. Yes. How is that going to Yes, happen? that's waste. Converting waste. Mm. So at the end of the day, we need not worry ourselves about waste again. Because after all, the good Lord needs us. The waste can be recycled into the soil mm. to give it fertilizer. So what is the project you are having with the National uh, Service Secretary? The project with National Service Secretary mm. is that we want the youth to go back. Into to agriculture? Yes. Because... I was going to tell you, this planting food for jobs, they made a lot of use. Yes. So with National years. Service, what we have done, and also we are still in the designing. Okay. We have imagined it. Imagination is there. The, ma imagine the imagination design. was that, and the imagination is that We've taken about 50,000 acres of land. 20,000 acres, we are coming to do this integrated agriculture that I'm talking about. Okay. Poultry, aqua, and then the small remnants. Then we do maize, rice, soya beans, what have you. We are going to use the, the droplets, the drop, droppings, droppings of it to enrich to the, soil, the soil so that we don't buy any inorganic fertilizer. fertilizer. On the 20,000, we are going to train the youth how to do all these things, how to manage it. Mm. Because at the end of the day, we are establishing what we call the service centers. Okay. If it comes to, say, uh, harrowing, if it comes to land preparation, mm. we have a center there that will provide that service. Okay. If it comes to this fertilizer, somebody to move it around, you have a center. If it comes to uh, any other agriculture related service, they are there. Okay. So if so, so where, where, where is the pilot going to get when she in Tony? No, no, it's um Kumeu. Uh, in Kumeu. Kumeu a front place. Okay. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the twenty thousand will be used to train the youth. Okay. And then the thirty thousand we are going to develop it and deploy the youth who get the training and they are interested to stay. To work there. So it's going to be a camp. Yes. So I call it the Renaissance Village. And your concentration will be what on what on rice, rice, maize, mm. soya beans, okay. cowpea, mm. granuts, mm. then poultry, then aqua, and then small ruminants. And, and these so, are the things that we consume most. Yes. And so once, <laughs> once these things are handled, yes. But tell me the collaboration between the CEO because of time. What, what is that you are trying to work with the Church of Pentecost? Uh, the Church of Pentecost, the same thing. Okay. We've had meetings. There was one meeting we even did it at my home. Yes, and then we are pursuing it. Uh, we are forming a company, okay. an umbrella company, where in every district, in every region, we get our men there. In, uh, in that pursuit, what we are looking at, get men and women who have extension services. And you can locate them in all or the district, okay. get them organized so that our farmers in the various districts will be offering them enhanced agricultural practices. We are not looking at large plantations. We are looking at the peasant farmers, mm -hmm. how to handle them. If you go to India, for instance, 
You know, the Indian people, they do it small scale. But then they have that holding company mm -hmm. that assure them of uptaking. And our, our second, they are the second rice producers after China. Yes. Though China consume more yes. than the producers. Yes. India is second. Yes. And I saw the, the, the tons it yes. produces yes. here. Very, very huge. So this is how you it, want to work. And so the Church of Pentecost is everywhere in the country. Yeah. In the country. Now we are in 136 nations. So I spoke this morning. Not me, I'm talking about Ghana. Ghana yeah. yeah, I'm talking about yeah. Ghana. 76 so, areas. Yes, uh, so if we have that crop of people who offer that enhanced agricultural services mm. to our members who are farming, and we were able, in the case of rice, for instance, bring it from 2.5 metric tons to 7, 6 metric tons, then you can be assured that our members are going to prosper. Finally, finally, because of time, uh, we have exhausted our 30 minutes. Because I was late. Uh, you were late, <laughs> of course. You have accepted that. We are in, uh, now negotiating of IMF. Yes. Agriculture sector. Planting for food and job. You are part of the government in, in power. You, wanted, you didn't want to say anything about it, but people know about it. Mm. What can we do to help the agricultural sector now? Just a minute. No, we have to go back to the self-reliant agriculture. We shouldn't build our agriculture with the expectation of importing Input. The input outside. Outside. Yes, because we have everything. And I said it the other day. When the people of Israel go to the Red Sea, and they were crying on God, like Apostle prayed for us. God asked Moses, what, do you what is in your hand? So now, Ghana. We, we have the land. We have the youth roaming. We have the feed. Look at the 40 farmers crying. No 40 farmers in this country. The country. The waste are uh, just there. Yes, and the look at what our brother, our elder Zoom line. Zoom line is doing. Do we need to go and cry? Do we need to cry over... Russia and, Russia and Ukraine, 44 million people, and then we, Africa, 1.5 billion people, and they are at war and we are crying. What is in our Russia hand? Russia is 144, yes. uh, Ukraine is 44, 44. Uh -huh. and then Africa So what is in our hand? Go back to the 60s and the 50s, when our grandees were planting. There was nothing like fertilizer. If you are called now to help, would you? Now we are in oh, yeah, because I see myself as a Joseph of the country. So any call. OK, this is, this is your camera. Any word of encouragement to Ghanaians? Now, I mean, at the town, whatever you want to buy, fuel, everything, they struggle everywhere. And that Ghanaians shouldn't get worried because at the end of the day, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. Some of us, we are putting ourselves together, designing. Already the imagination is there. We are designing, and very soon we are going to go into execution. As I'm talking to you from here, I'm attending a meeting at National Service. Okay. And I know the Church of Pentecost one is also coming on. I have to see Chairman, who is my old friend. Your, your old friend. <laughs> friend. Now he just left for a P a PCC. He didn't come early. So oh, uh, no, no problem. <laughs> we'll meet again. Yeah, we'll meet uh -huh. So we we'll use our local materials offer a solution to the agriculture okay. challenge Good. that we have. Quickly, you have any acknowledgement you want to thank some people? I know oh, President Kufu I want to thank one. everybody. Yeah. And especially, yesterday I was with you. Yeah. Old man, I was Old with man, you. Old man, he's still so strong. Yes, very strong. Oh, but one, one time we'll have to join him and go and interview him. Oh, like, he's, uh, he's, he's always available. Yeah. Yesterday yeah. I was there. Okay. For the past one week, I've been there two times or yeah. so. Oh, yeah, one of these, they will shut and go and Definitely. Yeah. There were some, TV3 was, was there yesterday. Mm -hmm to interview him and that kind of thing. So he, his doors are doors open. Are open. Yeah, so, always, always yeah. open. God bless you so much. But I didn't hear anything about your central regional. Are, are you done with the competition there? Oh, no, no, no. I, I stepped out. Oh, you stepped out. Yes, because I realized that it wasn't a matter of ideas. Okay. It was a matter of auctioning. Some, something else. Auctioning. And, and you're not ready to, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. to, to be auctioned. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you so much. That was Honorable uh, Abraham Juma Odum, former member of parliament for uh, Trufu Etimokwa. I hope I got it right. Yeah. Constituency. He just lost la recently. In, the, one, in uh, the central region. In the central region. That's the last time he was in parliament. I mean, all of a sudden. So power is transient. Today you are here, yeah. the next day you are there. But he's the Joseph of our time. We believe in him that he can help the agriculture sector to boom. I'm, I'm just calling on everybody that we need people with the idea, the track record to help 
the nation once again. My name is JB Damka. Thank you so much. Many thanks to our sponsors, Dr. Anna K. Jesse Company Limited, Jagger's Fertility and Natural Clinic, Sam Lee's Enterprise. There were a lot of WhatsApps, but I couldn't read it. But one Chris, Christopher Kaswa, your boss is here, and so we'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye.